Hey everyone! It's unfortunate that the technology didn't work out for us this afternoon, but either way, I am honored and so happy to join this campaign, and at least we found a way to work around it. I want to thank Catherine again for talking to us and joining our panel of experts. I thought her point about how species that are underrepresented in the media are still integral to this issue was great because while the stats about elephant and big cat poaching are staggering, there are lesser known species like lemurs and sayolas that play just as vital of a role in their ecosystems and are heading towards extinction fast. Similarly to her point, not only is trafficking affecting the target species, but it's also a huge threat to the local communities as a lot of their resources are taken away. And it's really inspiring to hear that National Geographic invests with people on the ground in order to help combat this. Illegal wildlife trafficking is hugely damaging, as Catherine mentioned, it's a $20 billion industry. But it's also just as important for us to pay attention to wildlife trafficking that is legal but not sustainable, because it can be just as damaging. I love how, the sh I love how she mentioned that it's Nepal's second year without poaching, because it's stories like this that really give us hope and show that if we band together and push for regulation changes and education, we can stop wildlife trafficking. Thank you again to everybody who tuned in, and we'll be having these chats regularly throughout October, so make sure you do so again. In the meantime, please sign the change.org petition, as well as using and following the hashtag JanesTrafficStop and following us on social media. You can also now purchase a Stay Wild t-shirt, which I'm wearing, and the proceeds from this support our Chipunga Sanctuary for chimps who have been orphaned by the illegal wildlife trade. Make sure you share, keep asking questions, and learning.